Hi everybody, my name is Jacob from Children's Museum Houston. Welcome back to another one of our educator moments. Today we are sponsored by the David and Jean Wiley Foundation and they actually sponsor this entire space behind me called Invention Convention. So our activity for today is going to be building a Da Vinci self-supporting bridge, which all you're going to need for it is something like a popsicle stick. So I have popsicle sticks here. Um, if you don't have popsicle sticks, you can either go eat a bunch of popsicles or you can cut pieces of cardboard or uh, cut up a box. Um, anything that is about this size, but also it needs to be firm. You don't want to be able to hold it like this and it bends. Like a piece of paper wouldn't necessarily work unless it was like a really thick card stock. Um, so something this size and you're gonna need, well, at least 20, probably around 20. Um, you can keep going with this project as much as you want. You could stop a little bit short of 20, but uh, roughly 20 is a good amount to get started here. 20 pieces of something this size that is firm. So what we're building is called the Da Vinci Self-Supporting Bridge. Da Vinci refers to the engineer behind the bridge whose name is Leonardo Da Vinci. You might have heard of him. Um, and the self-supporting refers to the fact that this bridge doesn't use anything like tape or adhesion. It doesn't use any strings to hold it up. It supports itself just by the way it is engineered. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna move the camera over here so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so to start this project, you're going to need four of your popsicle sticks. And you're gonna lay one down just like this. And what you'll do is you will put another two so that they're just overlapping right at the ends there. You want these two on top of this first one. And then finally, you take your fourth one and you put it on top, kind of in the middle, making a boxy little letter A. It's kind of like the letter A but if the letter A was a box. Um, and now what you're going to do is you're gonna take three more popsicle sticks, okay? So two of these you will lay on top of this one in the middle, but then kind of get it underneath the one at the top here so that you can kind of slide it through between the two of them. So you'll have to lift it up a little bit to do this. And then you take another one and you do the same thing, but on the other side, on top of the one in the middle, underneath the one at the end. And now finally, you take this last one and you wanna put it underneath the two, the ends of the two that you just put through. So on the bottom, you have to kind of lift it up again. Slide it in carefully so that you don't disrupt it. As you build this project, it gets more and more sturdy, but at first it's a little bit, it, it could come apart, it's a little bit fragile. All right, three more popsicle sticks. And now what you do is the exact same thing. You put it on top of the one uh, in the middle here, and then you kind of slide it underneath the one at the end. Take your second one, do the same thing at the other end, holding things in place as you slide it past so that you don't knock it over. And then you can take this last one and it's a lot easier now to put it underneath the two right here at the end. And guess what we're gonna do next? Three popsicle sticks, exact same thing. And we just do this over and over again. And so basically you just do that over and over again until you have your own self-supporting bridge. Sometimes you might accidentally jostle something you didn't mean to and it'll fall down, but don't get discouraged. You can start again. That's kind of the fun of this. How many popsicle sticks can you use to make a self-supporting bridge? How long can you get your bridge to go? Once you build a nice arch of a bridge, can you put something on top of it to see if it'll actually support it? Give it a try and let us know how it goes. Thank you all for joining me. Again, this was an educator moment uh, sponsored by the David and Jean Wiley Foundation who sponsored the Invention Convention where I am right now. My name is Jacob and I'll see you next time. Bye.